Um, one of the things that I actually find a little bit difficult to manage uh, on this Vendée journey is kind of how I balance my fitness, my nutrition, looking after myself with the different phases of the campaign. Um, now, at the moment, I don't have a boat to sail on um, and the boat won't go in the water until the end of May. So I'm land based till the end of May. Um, and this pre prevent, presents me with quite a good opportunity to work on my core fitness. Um, obviously, I'm carrying on doing the weight training. I always do that whenever I can. Uh, and I've got a longer period now to, to kind of lay down that base level of, um, of muscle. Um, but my cardio has suffered a little bit through the last year. Now, I address my cardio by running as often as I can. And certainly to the back end of last year, I struggled to get into running for any length of time because my schedule was so busy. I was doing a lot of traveling. The boat was moving around. I was doing a lot of sailing. And so my cardio has taken a bit of a hit. Um, on top of that, over Christmas and New Year, I had this awful flu that's been going round. And so for three weeks, I was just completely laid out, unable to do anything. Um, now I'm feeling better and I really, really want to get back into my running. Um, so I'm just starting to go out regularly and, and just kind of building up from a very low level of a gentle 5k as often as I can. So four or five times a week. And then on top of that, just kind of increasing the distance, doing a little bit of speed work. And I think the main thing is just the regularity of it rather than the performance. I just need a month of, of getting out there and doing it and then I'll work on my performance afterwards. Now on top of that, it's about managing my diet. I'm spending a lot of time on the road at the moment, so I'm mixing between coming here to Hythe to be with the team and see the boat. I'm doing quite a bit of speaking events at the moment um, and also taking the opportunity to go and see my friends and family who I haven't seen a lot in the last year. And with, again, with all of that movement and that lack of routine, sometimes it's quite difficult to make the right food choices and to keep on top of having a, a well-balanced diet that's going to support me in my fitness development. Um, the way around that for me is actually trying to be organised and pre-prepare as many meals as possible. So when I do get in the door after being out, at work for 13 or 14 hours in the day, I know that I've got a nutritious meal to eat at home. It's about making my lunch the night before so that I can just pull it out of the fridge and go off. And with it being so cold, lunch is soup. Um, I love a good soup and dinner tends to be stew at the moment. Um, I think the biggest difficulty for me is just being organized and finding the time to organize myself and and the only way I can get around that is is stern talking to myself which I have to do little and often <laughs>